let's talk about the building blocks of geometry. Um, we have three undefined terms in geometry. And undefined just kind of means these things are what they are. Um, they are defined by themselves. So a point is a location. A line is a straight path that goes on forever and ever. And a plane is a two-dimensional surface that's perfectly flat that goes on forever and ever. And those three terms are not defined in, any, um, in terms of any other terms. That's why they're called the undefined terms. They are what they are. Okay, so let's talk about things that we can build with these. I want you to think about these three things as your Legos. So, you can use points and a line to make a line segment. A line segment is just a part of a line. What we do is we take a line like this one right here and we pop a couple of points on there and the line segment is the piece of the line that's in between those two points. Mm -hmm. So you put a line and two points together and you get a line segment. Can you see why points and lines are considered like our building blocks? They're like our Legos and we can use them to build things like line segments. You could also build a ray. So for a ray, you take a line and you put one point on it and the ray is the part of that line that starts at that point and goes on forever. So one point plus one line, you can put those together and make a ray. What else do we have? An angle. So for an angle, you need two rays and one point. Did you notice how I am using a new type of block here? Remember that for to make a ray, you need a point and a line. So you have an end point and then the rest of the line that goes on forever and ever. So you need that to make a ray, right? Well, we have two of those now. And then we have a point, a common end point. So we're getting more complex here um, to put our angle together. And an angle is just two rays with a common end point. Now we know how to build angles. We know how to build rays. We know how to build line segments. We can use those things to build shapes. So here's a triangle. What do we need for a triangle? Well, we need three points. We need three line segments and we need one plane, one flat surface to be inside of those. And you know, one thing I didn't even add on this list here, we have three angles, don't we? So we're putting together the pieces that we've made to create shapes. And so here we have a triangle. It's a closed two dimensional shape with three straight sides. You could also make a rectangle. For this one, you're going to need four points and four line segments and one plane. And of course, I didn't mention it, but we also have four angles in here. Um, we could get more complex and go three dimensional. So here we have a triangular prism here. So you can see I have some bases for my triangular prism. I have one triangle in the front here and one triangle in the back here. And those are my bases. So I've got two triangles, and then I have three rectangles that make up my lateral faces. If I were to unfold it, it would look something like this, right? So you can see those two triangles and those three rectangles. And remember, each triangle is made up of three points, three segments, and one plane. And each rectangle is made up of four points, four segments, and one plane. So all of this is about combining points, lines, and planes and using those things to make sure. Now here's a few more terms that you're gonna encounter in geometry. We have statements, different types of statements, and they have varying degrees of validity or certainty. Um, we have postulates, conjectures, and, a ther and theorems. Now a postulate is a statement that we just say is true. It is taken to be true without proof. You don't have to approve it. You can assume that it's true, and that's okay to do. So for example, we say that any two points can be joined by drawing a line segment. You don't have to prove that. If you tell me I've got point A and point B, and I know that I can connect them with a line, I'm gonna say, sure, I believe you. I'm not gonna make you prove it because that's a postulate. We just assume that's true. Now a conjecture is something that you think is probably true. Now there's a lot of things that I think might be true. Here's an example. The sky is dark and cloudy, so I think it will rain. I'm making a prediction here, right? It might be a reasonable prediction, but it's not proven. It's just something that I am guessing is true. I might be guessing with good evidence, but I can't prove it. So I need more proof if I wanna say that a conjecture is true. Now a theorem is something that we have proven to be true. 
A good example that you'll know is the Pythagorean theorem, um, that the squares of the side lengths of a right triangle sum to equal the square of the hypotenuse. Now, this is something that we've proven to be true. There's many, many different proofs of this theorem. You can't just look at a right triangle and say, oh, I could just assume that this is true about the legs and the hypotenuse. No, it requires proof, and that proof has been given. Um, and that's what we have called, that's what we call the Pythagorean theorem. So remember, a postulate, a key word here is assume. We assume that that's true. You don't have to prove it. A conjecture, need more. We need more proof. We have not yet proven that. We just think it might be true. And a theorem is proven to be true. We know it's true because it's been proven. So those are three types of statements that you're likely to see in geometry.